want to say thank you to mom and dad for always supporting me and being by my side through this whole journey. I want to say thank you to my friends and family who's been there whenever I needed you. If I called, you were there. I want to say thank you to my professors who helped guide me along this journey throughout the field of history. I also want to say thank you to those of the, the ones who couldn't be here today, Granddad, Aunt Charlotte, Mr. Wade. I know y'all got the best seats in the house. So here's the, here's the scene what the next chapter holds. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you. Thank you for all the support that you've given me over the years. Thank you to my family, my mom, dad, Nana, Eric, Katie, Jada, and my sweet girlfriend, Madeline. Thank you for all the love and support that you've given me over the past years and to what is now two degrees. Thank you to all my professors, faculty, and staff. Without your guidance, I would not be anywhere near this point. Thank you for all the support and encouragement that you've given me to get to this point where I am now. Thank you to all my friends, the Marching Southerners, the JSU Drumline, the Cockpit, the JSU Percussion Studio, and Inferno. Thank you for all the encouragement. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love that you've given me to get to this point now. But most of all, thank you, JSU. Thank you for the countless memories I've made, the great people that you have brought in my life, and the skills that you have helped me attain to be successful in my life. Thank you for all the opportunities you've given me. I am so thankful for it. Thank you to everybody who has supported me along the way. I will now always be a Gamecock. Go Gamecocks, love y'all, thank you. I just wanted to say thank you today as we're sitting here at commencement to those who have helped me along the way, specifically to my family, my friends, and to my professors, specifically my mom and dad who have helped me along the way, to my friends for all the late night studying, and to my professors for pushing me to become a better artist. All right. Hi everybody. I just want to take the time to first and foremost thank my friends and family who have always supported me and believed in me. I also want to thank all the organizations that I was able to get involved in such as Spanish Club and Ambassadors who taught me not only about leadership but also about myself. I would also like to thank the entire College of Arts and Humanities, namely the Foreign Language Spanish Department, the English Department, um, for always encouraging me, always giving me new opportunities, as well as Dr. Stacy Stone for believing in me from the first time that she saw me on that Zoom meeting for orientation. And lastly, I would also like to thank Hernan, my boyfriend, for being one of my biggest sources of encouragement, even from hundreds of miles away. Um, I just want to give a big shout out uh, to God because he's the one that's brought me here through all these years. Um, thank you for all my, to my friends and family who supported me through all this time of all the switching and all the changes and surprise, everyone I eloped. Um, married now, stay cocky. Hey you guys, I wanna thank you all to my support system for helping me through school and on this journey and to my two kids. That is done, I got more time with you guys. To my fiance, thank you for being by my side as well. Go Gamecocks. I would like to thank my family and friends for their support throughout my journey and I would like to send a heartfelt thank you to my daughters, Taylor and Ayana, for all of their love, support, and encouragement throughout my journey. Go Gamecocks. I would like to first and foremost thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me the opportunity to attend JSU. Second, I would like to thank my husband, Nathan, and my parents for their unconditional love and support down this long road. I love y'all and thank you. Hey Gamecocks, first I wanna say congratulations to all of the graduates. Secondly, I want to thank all of JSU staff and faculty for supporting me and helping me throughout the four years here. It's been a great experience. Specifically to the marching ballerinas, dancing alongside some amazing women the past three years has been such an opportunity I will never take for granted. Thirdly, to my Gamecock orientation family, I love y'all so much. Thank you for supporting me. I love y'all. Beep, beep. And lastly, I want to thank my family, my three sisters for being my biggest supporters and cheerleaders, to Tabby, who's my best friend and my roommate, and to my parents who, without them, I wouldn't be here. I love y'all so much, and go Gamecocks! I'd like to say thank you to my coaches through high school. They reminded me to never give up, stay disciplined. Thankful for my parents. When I got stressed out, they helped me to always keep moving forward and look at a different perspective. My sister gave me advice to get me through college. I'm thankful for my friends. I told them I don't back down and I kept my word. I'm at the finish line now. I'm thankful for my friends here 
who helped me switch into what I'm best at, which is art. And I'm thankful for all the people here who kept reminding me not to give up and that I got a bright future ahead. Thanks a plenty. Hey everyone, I just want to give a big shout out to all my friends, family, and professors for getting me through all four years of this crazy, crazy college experience. And every, each and every one of you are very much so appreciated. And I thank you for the bottom of my heart for just believing in me and helping me through all the tough times through college and yeah. I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me to graduate. I'd also like to thank Mr. J for helping me get this far. Go Gamecocks. Hello everyone and welcome to graduation. First, I wanna thank God for allowing me to experience these four years and allowing me to lead many organizations such as SGA as SGA president and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Next, I wanna thank my peers for standing there along the way and dealing with my bad attitude at times, Daniel Washington, and especially my best friend, Zaria Snellen. Next, I want to thank my family for, you know, guiding me and supporting me through this process. It was a very hard four years, but we made it through. Next, we get in that MBA. Um, I want to shout out my family and friends that helped me get to this day. I want to shout out specifically my parents and my grandmother and my husband and their sweet family. Thank you for getting me to this point, and I love y'all so much. Uh, I want to say a thank you to my family and friends, but especially my mom, dad, and sister for getting me here today and having faith in me. And a huge shout out to God because I couldn't have done it without him. I'd like to thank my beautiful girlfriend, Addison Smith, my twin brother, Thomas Embry, and my family and friends. Thank you all. Go Gamecocks. I'd like to thank my family from my mom, my dad, and my brother for, to help guide me throughout this process of starting as a young child and throughout my young adulthood and now where I'm at graduating college. And I'd like to thank my professors and also Jackson State Football for also helping me getting through college and making sure I stay on the right path. First and foremost, I would like to thank my family and friends for this opportunity and the faculty and staff of Jacksonville State University. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to give a special thanks to my parents as well as my grandparents and I would like to give a special shout out to our professors who made this semester very easy. Hello, my name is Gisela Martinez and first and foremost I want to thank God for allowing me to be here and for allowing this day to happen. I want to thank my family, I want to thank my parents for allowing me to um, be able to attend college. Gracias mamá y papá por todo el esfuerzo que han hecho y todo el sacrificio que han hecho por mí. Gracias por siempre apoyándome y por dándome palabras de motivación. I also want to thank my boyfriend for allowing me to always do better in school, for always pushing me to do better. Um, I want to thank my friends that I made through El Latino de Mi Cultura. They have allowed me to evolve more as a person and have also given me words of encouragement to be able to make it to this day. And I want to thank the JSU and faculty staff. They have been very helpful and super great. And I made the best decision coming to Jacksonville State University. Go Gamecocks. First, I want to give honor to God who's ahead of my life. Um, next, I would like to thank my family because without the support from back home, I wouldn't even be here and this wouldn't even be possible. Um, next, I want to thank my professors. Um, thank you for taking the time to answer all of my questions. Thank you for allowing me to come to office hours or even just come to your office when there wasn't office hours. Um, and thank you for just putting up with me. And thank you to JSU, allowing me to call this place home for the past four years. Go Gamecocks. I just want to give a big shout out to my family and my friends and the accounting faculty and the BCM for being my biggest support system getting me through my education, but most importantly, I want to give the glory to God for giving me this opportunity, and I'm looking forward to see what the future holds. Go Gamecocks. I want to give a big shout out to all my friends in the International House, the Anime Club, my D&D &D groups. Thank you guys for giving me some amazing memories. And of course, the biggest shout out has to go to my mom, my dad, and my sister. Thank you guys for supporting me with everything I've done these last four years. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Hi, my name is Carson Callender, and I would like to thank my family and my wife, especially for supporting me through getting my degree here at JSU. I am super excited and ready to take on the future. I'd like to thank my family, especially my husband, for pushing me when I thought I couldn't anymore, and go Gamecocks. I'd like to give a shout out to my family, specifically my mom and my brother, my girlfriend, 
and all of my coworkers for helping me along the way. Hi, I am so thankful for the opportunity to stand here with you today as a graduate of Jacksonville State University. I don't take it lightly because I know that if it were not for Jesus, I would not have made it here today. It's been quite a journey, 10 years in the making, but step by step and little by little, I've made it here today. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for loving me and encouraging me, supporting me and praying for me every single day. I love you and I'm so excited for what God's got in store for the future. I would like to thank my mom and my sister Shatari and the rest of my family, my granddad, my aunts and uncles and my friends out there who've supported me through this journey. And I wanna give a special tribute to my grandmother. I wish you were here with me. I know you'll, be all, you'll always be watching over me and I'm dedicating this year to you. Love you. I wanna give a big thanks to my family and my friends for helping me along this journey. Thank you so much. Okay, first I would like to thank God and my mom and dad for helping me on this journey of college. Hey everybody, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, um, for giving me all the many opportunities that he's given me to succeed. And I absolutely would not be here without him and the love that he's shown me and my family and my friends. Uh, Mom, Dad, Jeff, Terry, uh, all of my brothers and sisters, um, thank you for everything that you've given me in my life. You've given me everything that I needed and more to succeed. Um, to my brothers at Delta Epsilon and everybody that I've met here at this university, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll never forget you. Hey everybody, I want to give a huge thanks to God and my extremely supportive family and close friends for being such a huge source, source of motivation for me throughout this time. I'm very thankful for every single act of love that I've been shown that's made me feel uh, cared for. And time has swum by really fast, so it's been really hard for me to grasp the fact that I've been in college for four years. So I've been very emotional and grateful to be able to reflect on this journey. Thank you and congrats to everyone. Um, I just want to thank my mom and my grandparents for providing me such support and just believing in me and making sure I get what I need to get done. And I want to thank my friends for providing a lot of memories and a lot of good times on and off campus. I just want to give a shout out to everybody in my department with me. We've been through a lot. I want to give a shout out to my family for just being there for me. Shout out to my fiance, Kelly Jo and big shout out to P. Hunt at Jacksonville High School for helping me get through this semester. I just want to take a moment to thank my family and friends for all they've done for me these past four years. There's no way I could have made it without their love and support and encouragement, and I just love you all so very much. Hey guys, first and foremost, I just want to thank my Lord for helping me get through these past four years and leading and guiding me. I want to thank my parents for all of their support, um, emotionally, financially, just for encouraging me through it all. I want to thank all of my friends, the rest of my family, my professors for pushing me through and helping me get to this point in my life. Go Gamecocks! I just want to say thank you to my family, friends, and classmates who have stood by my side these past four years. I'd be lying if I said they were easy, but because of the challenges that I faced, I've become the person that I am today. The Lord has blessed me beyond measure, and I give all the glory to Him. Go again, Cox. First, I just want to thank God for the opportunity to give me the advantage to come to college. I've really loved my time here at JSU. Next, I want to thank my parents. Thank you for supporting me all of these years and all through high school and just letting me come to college. I've been so grateful for the opportunity. Next, I want to thank my family. Thank you so much for supporting me along the way and just being my biggest cheerleaders. Next, I want to thank Harrison. Thank you, Harrison, for being my biggest cheerleader these past three years. I know it's been hard to deal with me going through at TPA and everything, but next I want to thank his family. Thank you, Harrison's family, for being so welcoming to me and loving me like your own. Next, I want to thank all of my sisters of AFI. I just truly have loved my time with you and thank you for shaping me to be the woman that I am today. I wouldn't be who I am without y'all. And last, I just want to thank JSU. I've absolutely loved the Department of Education and I've learned so much and always go Gamecocks. Hey mom and dad, thank you so much for all the support you've given me throughout the past four years. Thank you Jesus for guiding my steps um, through the whole entire process. I want to thank my fiance Noah for always sticking by my side and getting me through the tough times. Thank you Find You for always being there for me and guiding me as well. Thank you to all my friends and family that have supported me throughout this whole experience. Thank you JSU for being super duper awesome and letting me have the best time ever. Go Gamecocks! 
First and foremost, I would like to thank uh, my family and my friends and all the people that have supported me in this journey. Uh, even before I came here to Jacksonville, I really want to make sure that they feel appreciated for all the contributions that they've made in my life. And I'd, I'd like to give a special shout out uh, to my dad. He's been uh, you know, a key critical component in my life. He showed me what it's like to be a man and how to be successful and what it takes to succeed even when times are tough. And his contributions to me and our family mean the world to me. And lastly, I'd like to thank all my professors, uh, Dr. Hammock uh, in particular, and Dr. Alamari for you know pushing me and being there for me and ensuring my success. I really appreciate it and thank you so much, Jackson, for what you've offered me. I just want to say thank you to my friends and family, mom and dad, y'all have meant so much to me these last couple of years, just supporting me from home, and Madison, Natalie, I love you guys so much, and just thank you to my friends that I've met at JSU and the ones that got to come with me from home. Thank y'all for all your support. I wouldn't know what to do without you guys, and thank you to my Lord and Savior that's put me on this path to teach and education. Um, it's just a huge blessing to be here at JSU and finally graduating. Go Gamecocks! Um, first, I want to thank God for getting me to this point in my life. I couldn't have done it without Him. Uh, my mom and dad, they have loved and supported and encouraged me every step of the way. Uh, my boyfriend Jacob and my little sister Riley, they have been everything in between that I need to get here. And my grandparents, you have also done everything for me. So I cannot wait to see where life takes me. And I am only getting to see that because of all of your support. So thank you. I would like to thank God, my mom and dad, Calvin, and family and friends for standing beside me throughout all these four years of my college experience. If it wasn't for you being in my corner, I wouldn't have made it each and every day. Today, I can finally say I did it. I would like to thank God, my friends, my family, and many others for helping support me through these past four years. Most importantly, I would like to thank my dad for encouraging me and pushing me to be my best that I can be. I love you guys and thank you so much. Go Gamecocks. I want to say thank you to my mom and Sydney for helping me get through college. Okay, hi. First, I'd like to thank the Lord for getting me here. I wouldn't have made it through the past four years without him. I'd also like to thank my roommates, Emily and Alex, for being so patient through this entire process. I'd also like to thank the entire eighth grade team at Alexandria Middle School for helping me get to this part of my journey. And yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always supporting me. My teachers, especially Miss Wheat, um, I'd like to give a shout out to all my friends who have supported me throughout the past five years I've been at JSU. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to the sisters of Delta Zeta and my boyfriend. Go Gamecocks. I'd like to give a shout out to my mama for always supporting me. Go Gamecocks. I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friends and family that are here today. Thanks for getting me here. Um, two degrees down, one more to go. Hey everyone, this is Justin Price. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my friends and family. They were so supportive in my long process here at JSU, and I'm just glad that they stuck with me through all of this. I want to give a huge shout out to Dr. Hammock. He helped me through the hardest parts of school. Without him mentoring me through this, I wouldn't have been able to get through it. And definitely the biggest shout out goes to my wife because she has supported me through every step of this way, through good and bad. I absolutely adore you, I love you, and thank you for always sticking by my side. Thank you so much. I just wanna give a shout out to my mom and my dad. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me through this whole entire journey. And I would also like to say thank you to all of my professors for making this day special for me, and I just wanna say thank you. All right, I would like to thank my friends and family for helping me get to where I am today. And I would also like to thank God for blessing me with this opportunity to go through college and experience college things. And um, lastly, I would like to thank uh, my advisor, Dr. Donnie Andrews. He has been a huge help to me throughout this uh, journey. And I will definitely keep in touch with him in, later in life. But I would just like to thank everyone for everything and thank you. I would like to thank my grandparents for helping me get through college and I would like to thank my mom for pushing me and helping me to get where I am today. Um, most of all, I just want to say that um, I'm thankful for God. I couldn't have made it this far in life without him. I also want to give a big shout out to um, my family and my fiance. I couldn't have done it without all of y'all's love and support. I love y'all. I just want to give a shout out to my family. I couldn't have made it without them. And uh, I thank, I'm thankful for my church and I thank them. I couldn't have made it without them either. And God and my fiance and his family. And I'm so thankful for all of you and go Gamecocks. 
I want to give a special shout out to my sister. She's been my backbone throughout nursing school. A uh, major thank you for my family and friends for supporting me and motivating me. And a special shout out to my parents who said I don't have to work after I graduate. Go game clocks. I want to say a big thank you to my friends and family and my boyfriend who helped me make it through this because I couldn't have done it without y'all. And go game clocks. I would like to thank my mom and dad, and of course, Miles Hembry, for giving me the best college experience possible. Go Gamecocks. Okay, first and foremost, I wanna thank God for getting me through these past four years. I also wanna thank my mom and dad for always being my biggest supporters and supporting me through my entire time at college and my entire life. I also wanna thank uh, my roommate, JC, for um, putting up with me, studying at all hours into the night for my nursing exams. And I wanna thank my friends, Peyton and Sarah and McKenzie, for just getting me through school and keeping up with me, making sure I'm in check. Thank you all. I want to shout out to my friends and family, uh, more specifically my family, um, to get to the point where I am today. Go Gamecocks. Hi, I'd like to say thank you to all of my friends and family who have supported me to become the young lady that I am today, helping me get across the stage. And I'd also like to say thank you to all the JSU staff that has helped me and become my family while being here. Thank you. I'd like to thank my mother, my father, each and every one of my family members. Thank you, God. I thank him first. <laughs> um, thank my son for pushing me to finish. Um, thank you for my plus family, my in-laws. Thanks everyone who <laughs> helped contribute to this day. I love you. First, I'd like to give a shout out to God for just giving me this opportunity. And second, I'd like to give a shout out to my family, also to my fiance, Micah, and his family. And third off, I'd like to give a big shout out to my teachers for pushing me to just, you know, pursue my dream of becoming a physical therapist at UAB. So thank you. I would first like to thank my um, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would also like to thank my amazing parents and my um, awesome friends. I definitely would not be where I am today without them. Thank you so much, and as always, go Gamecocks. First off, I want to start off by saying thank you to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I also want to thank my family and friends for pushing me throughout these four years of college. Also, shout out to my Zeta sisters. I love y'all so much. Thank you for everything you've done to me. Go Gamecocks. All right, I just want to give a big shout out to my parents, uh, mom and dad. I really thank you for everything that you've done for me, um, Ronnie and Ramona. Uh, Big shout out to you guys. I know that you were a huge supporter in this, uh, Nana and Papa. I really could not have done this without your support either. And uh, Emma and the rest of the Bagbees, I thank you for um, just going through this together. Uh, Emma, we've been together this whole time and it was great experiencing this with you. And um, just shout out to the members of Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity. Um, we started something new and I just can't wait to see what the future holds in the future. And thank you, Jacksonville State, uh, for all the education that you provided me with. Go Gamecocks. For me, Jacksonville State was truly the blessing I never expected. I'm so grateful for all this university has meant to me. Thank you so much to my family for always loving me and supporting me and for my friends who have changed my life. I love y'all. Thank you to all my friends and family for all the support you've given me. And thank you to my professors for helping me along the way. First of all, I just want to praise the Lord and thank Him for guiding me throughout this journey. And I also want to thank my friends and my family for encouraging me along the way and for their continued support. I couldn't have done this without you guys. First, I would like to say congratulations to all the graduates. Lastly, I would like to give a big thanks to my friends and family for helping me get this far. And a huge thank you to Miss Killen, my favorite professor. Hey everyone, uh, I just like to thank God for everything he has done for me. Without him, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I also like to thank my mom and my family, my number one supporters who always have my back. I also like to thank all the professors that taught me all the knowledge that I learned today and being the future person that I will be in this few months. And then I also would like to thank everyone on the campus and JSU for all the opportunities that you have given me. Go Gamecocks. I just want to say thank you to all my family and the friends that I've made along the way. 
Hi there, I just want to say thank you to my family for all the love and support they've given me throughout my time here at JSU. I am truly blessed and thankful to have all of you. I'd also like to thank the biology and chemistry department here at JSU. I've gotten the chance to work with some amazing professors here, and, and yeah, it's been a great one, JSU. Thank you. Hey guys, thank y'all so much for getting me through these four years at Jacksonville. I love y'all so much. Go Gamecocks. Hi! Hey family, hey friends. I'm graduating, yay! But I just wanted to say thank you to my family and my friends. Without y'all, I wouldn't be here, so I just want to say thank y'all. I would just like to thank my mom and my dad for helping me get this far in my college career. Um, I would also like to thank all my professors and my teachers and things like that. And I'd also like to thank my friends, because you guys are awesome. Help, um, thank you for helping me you know, study and getting things done, assignments while I procrastinated and helped me finish on. Um, but yeah, class 2023, we made it. So yeah, see you out there. Go again, Cox. First, I want to thank God for allowing me to get to this point, and I want to thank my entire family for being such an amazing support system and the friends I've made along this journey. And uh, thank you to all the professors who have had a big influence in my life. Bye. Hey everyone, I just want to say thank you to the Lord, my parents, and all my friends. Uh, I would not be here without any of them. I'm so thankful for my four years here, and I can't wait for the future. Hey Gamecocks, I would like to give a huge shout out to my parents, brothers, family, friends, and professors that have helped me throughout my time at JSU. Stay cocky. I just wanted to say thank you to all my family and friends for helping me to this point in my life. I couldn't have gotten here without you. And blow Southerners, and go Gamecocks. Um, I would just like to give a big thank you to my parents and my sister. Um, they've been with me through everything and really encouraged me to keep going. Um, and I really want to give a big thank you to my fiance, Brody, who has been there with me through everything, all the hardships, and I just want to tell all of them that I love them so much. I am thankful for um, my family and friends who have supported me over these past two years of my graduate studies at Jacksonville State University. I am also thankful for Dr. Ross Martin for giving me the opportunity to fund my education while, fun, while furthering my um, work experience in the field of GIS. And um, I'm, I'm just really, thank, I'm really thankful for this opportunity in general that has been presented to me to further my education. And I am looking forward to starting the next phase of my life. Hey y'all, I would just like to thank my family, my mom, my stepdad, my dad and my stepmom. Thank y'all for always supporting me. Thank you to my grandparents and thank you to Find Me for always backing me and these past four years have been amazing. I would like to give a shout out to my family, the MSW graduating class of 2023, the entire faculty and staff of the social work department. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. I also wanna give a special shout out to two special ladies who are looking down. I hope that I have made you proud. First of all, I wanna say the biggest thank you to my Lord because without his love and grace, there's no way I could have gotten a master's of social work. Next, I wanna say a huge thank you to my family for loving me and supporting me through it all. From the day that I was born, through my first day of kindergarten, and up until now, you've been my biggest supporters, and I want to say thank you for that. Next, I want to say thank you to my mom for praying for me every day and for loving me and supporting me in a way that only she could. Next, I want to say thank you to Kayla for motivating me to go ahead and get my master's. Next, I want to say thank you so much to my friends for being my motivation. Next, I want to say thank you to Anthony for loving me and standing by my side through it all. This past year has not been easy, but I want to say thank you for standing by my side. And lastly, I want to say the second biggest thank you to my dad. Thank you so much, Daddy, for loving me and supporting me in a way that only you could. Thank you so much for missing out on family events to sit beside me on the couch just so that I was not alone during those times. Thank you so much for loving me and praying for me through it all. I love you so much. Thank you to all of my family and my friends for being the biggest social supporters in my life and I love you and thank you all so much. Go Gamecocks. Hi, I just wanna give a big shout out to everyone who helped me get to where I am today. All of my parents, to all of my family members, to my teachers and professors, to um, everyone who has helped me get to where I am today. I appreciate all of you. Go Gamecocks. Um, I would like to thank my family and friends for coming out tonight and supporting me through all of these college years. I would like to thank all of my favorite professors, you know who you are, you're probably here. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful to be a part of JSU Go Gamecocks. 
I just wanted to thank all my friends and family for helping me get through college all these past four years. Thank you all. Go Gamecocks. I just want to say thank you to my friends and family for standing behind me. I wouldn't be half the woman I am today without y'all. I would like to say thank you to my family, Alexis and Lily. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding as I've had to work and study sometimes when I wasn't able to be with you. Tyler, my husband, who has been my rock, we've been through this together and I'm so excited for you and you to graduate soon. Um, thank you to my friends and family. I love you all and go Gamecocks. I want to give a shout out to my mom and dad and my little brother. Thank y'all for helping me get through this. Uh, shout out to my friends at uh, Giffyam. Appreciate y'all. Thanks you to my professors, especially Mr. Davis. Couldn't have made it through school without you. Most importantly, I want to thank my wife. Thank you for pushing me to be a per better person every day. I love you with all my heart and go Gamecocks. Shout out to my husband, Chase, for supporting me from day one, to my parents for encouraging me through the whole thing, to my family and friends, I love you all. Thank you for being here for me. And lastly, but not leastly, shout out to my cats. Mama did it so that you could have a better life. Love you all. Hey, I just wanna thank my family and my friends and JSU for supporting me um, throughout this academic journey. Um, it's been a blessing since I've been here and I just wanna say love you. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to my husband, John, and my daughter, Brooklyn. A shout out to my coworkers at Marshall County DHR and Marshall Medical Centers for supporting me during this time, along with my cohort in the social work program. Hey everybody, um, I wanna give a shout out to my mom, my grandma, and Matthew, um, and all my family and friends. I appreciate y'all so much, and shoot, I graduated. <laughs> What's up Gamecocks? I just wanna thank my Wisconsin family for being here with me today. I wanna to thank my Tennessee family and my Alabama family, Uncle Jeff and Aunt Reva for supporting me. I wanna thank my mom, dad, and Brian for getting me this far and through this journey. I wanna thank the Sisters of Alpha Z Delta for giving me a home and a sisterhood that I'll never forget. And lastly, I wanna thank the Gamecock orientation team for letting me serve as a go leader. Beep beep and go Gamecocks. So here we are at graduation uh, once again. Now I'm getting my master's. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank my friends, family, and the colleagues I've met along the way. Um, you guys have been a tremendous part of my, I guess, school experience. And I think it's safe to say I wouldn't have made it through without, again, all the support you guys have been for me this time. Um, where this next chapter of my life opens up, I don't know where it'll take me, but uh, I think good things are in store. So again, um, shout out to everybody who's been here for the ride. And for now, I, I guess that's it. Okay, I wanna shout out first, thanking God for allowing me the opportunity to be here and thanking my family, especially my grandparents and my mom and my little brother and my aunt and my uncle for helping me and always encouraging me to succeed. And I wanna thank my husband for always being there for me and pushing me to go beyond what I think is my limit and I want to thank my friends for supporting me. I'd like to thank my mom, my stepdad, my dad, and my stepmom, and all of my siblings and my friends for supporting me on this journey. Thank you. Hey guys, um, I wanted to come on here and um, do a little message for you guys, for the Music family, the Loster family, and the Edwards family. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for all that you have done for me, and I wanted to thank a special professor, um, Dr. Donnelly, for always being, being there for me and supporting me all the way through. Hi everyone, we made it. First and foremost, I wanna thank God for allowing this to be possible, for allowing me to be alive. I'm from Georgia, so I'm always driving back and forth on the road, so I wanna thank the most high. Secondly, I wanna thank my family, my mom, my brothers, sister, grandpa, I want to thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Let me cry, complain about homework and being busy and not making my schedule too full as always. I want to thank Miss Juliet. Thank you for staying on me, making sure that I apply to grad school when I needed to. Thank you for keeping me accountable. I want to thank all of my professors. Thank you for pushing us giving us lots of homework, lots of papers to write, and for making sure that we were able to accomplish this goal. Um, last, I wanna thank my country. I am from Haiti, 
one of the most beautiful country, but it doesn't always portray that way. But I do think the strength, the perseverance, the resilience that I do get come from being there. Always wanna strive to be the best and be an influence to my family back home, friends back home, and I'm just proud of that. And lastly, most importantly, I wanna thank myself. When I apply, I was hesitant. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. I'm thinking about doctor school. Maybe we'll visit that in a couple of months after I graduate. So thank you everyone, family, friends, mommy, my number one supporter always riding with me. I love you guys and I hope to make you guys proud. Bye. First, start off by saying to God be the glory because without Him, nothing is possible. A huge shout out to my amazing family and support system my parents, my siblings, my aunts, my grandparents. Thank y'all so much for being the foundation. A huge shout out to JSU's social work department. My professors were outstanding and equipped me with so many tools that I'm going to use in the future. To my peers, I pray that you all are blessed in your future endeavors.
We will begin our commencement ceremony in 10 minutes. Please take your seat and silence your cell phone. Thank you.
We will begin our commencement ceremony in five minutes. Again, please take your seat and silence your cell phone. Thank you. It is now time to begin Jacksonville State University's Spring 2023 Commencement Ceremony. Please stand for the processional and remain standing.
Jacksonville State University Spring 2023 Commencement Ceremony. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the JSU Army, ROTC Honor Guard, and the National Anthem, followed by an invocation. I would like to thank Ms. Kaylin Harris, our Honor Guard, and the JSU Symphonic Band directed by Dr. Clint Gillespie for that moving presentation. Jacksonville State University is a diverse community of many cultures and many faiths. We respect and celebrate those differences. Please remain standing as today's invocation is given by a representative of the local faith community, Reverend Steve West, First United Methodist Church, Jacksonville, Alabama. Reverend West. Let us pray. God of generous and generative grace, we pause at the beginning of these ceremonies to honor the one from whom all blessings flow. We invite your presence as we gather families, friends, and our academic community together to celebrate the accomplishments of this graduating class. We celebrate this day as both a milestone and a launching pad as these graduates venture forth into new places and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that have flowed so richly behind us. We thank you for the knowledge gained, the life lessons learned, and the relationships forged in this place. We thank you for the grand institution of Jacksonville State University, which has created space for us to build a strong foundation for life. We thank you for the faculty and staff who have given themselves freely and for the families and friends who have cheered us on to the finish line. Scripture says, blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who obtains understanding. The profit gained from wisdom is greater than the profit gained from silver. So God of infinite wisdom, may these commencement exercises be exactly that, an exercise in commencement, a new beginning, a fresh start. May it be less about pomp and circumstance and more about life's purpose in all circumstances. And after the robes and tassels and mortarboards are set aside, may we remain clothed with courage to move on to new adventures. May our next steps be not so much about pursuing a career as about discovering a vocation. For life is not about getting what we want, but about coming, becoming what we were created to be. And may this diploma we hold in our hand today be more than a piece of paper, but a blank palette on which a new work of art is formed. 
May the God who began a good work in us be faithful to complete it. And for those who walk across this stage today, may it serve as a threshold into a new season of life. We ask that you light us on fire, fill us with breath, strengthen us with spirit, and set us on a brightly lit path. And now with deep respect for all faiths that might be represented here today, I offer this prayer in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Reverend West. You may be seated. Good morning. I am Dr. Christy Shelton, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs at JSU. It is my pleasure to serve as your Mistress of Ceremonies and to welcome all of you to this spring 2023 commencement ceremony. We are also happy to welcome guests from all over the world joining us live on the university's Facebook and YouTube accounts. We welcome all audience participants wherever you may be. Commencements are important events on our campus requiring teamwork from numerous people. I would like to acknowledge the JSU staff from many departments across campus who have responsibilities for producing JSU commencements. Their contribution to the success of this graduation event is greatly appreciated. Please join me in thanking all of them. Now it is my pleasure to introduce JSU's 13th president, Dr. Don C. Killingsworth, Jr. Dr. Killingsworth. Good morning, and thank you, Dr. Shelton. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, welcome to Jacksonville State University's spring commencement. Thank you for joining us on this special day as we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2023. Joining Dr. Shelton, Reverend West, and myself on stage this afternoon, or morning, how long was that processional? Uh, Chairman Randy Jones, Board of Trustees, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Clarence Doggett III, member of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Rusty Fuller, member of the Board of Trustees, Ms. Nancy Grace, commencement speaker, Mr. Joseph Scott Morgan, distinguished scholar, applied forensics and forensic investigation, Dr. Emily Messer, Vice President for Advancement and Enrollment Management, Mr. Terry Casey, Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Brent Cunningham, Dean of the College of Business and Industry, Dr. Kimberly Gators-White, Dean of the College of Education and Professional Studies, Dr. Tracy Matthews, Dean of the College of Health Professions and Wellness, Dr. Tim Lindblom, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities and Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics, Dr. H. Dean Buttram III, Head of the Department of Criminal Justice and Forensic Investigation, who is representing the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Distinguished Professor John Bauer Graham, Dean of the Houston Co. Library, Dr. Channing Ford, Dean of Graduate Studies. Ms. Casey Ogle, Director of Alumni Race Relations. We could not fit anybody else on this stage. So please join me in thanking them for participating today. I want to thank all the faculty and staff who have worked hard to make uh, today's ceremony special. So thank you, faculty and staff. Before we turn our attention to celebrating the class of 2023, we would like to take a moment to recognize those who have assisted our graduates on the path to leading them here today. Graduates, if you would, please stand and thank your family and friends for all their support along the way. <laughs> thank you, graduates. It is a special day. It is also a historic day for many families in attendance, as you are witnessing the first member of your family to graduate from college. JSU has always been known as an institution that makes college accessible to first-generation students. Our faculty and staff, many of whom were also the first in their families to attend college, take pride in helping these students succeed. Graduates, if you are the first person in your immediate family to earn a four-year degree, please stand so that we may recognize you. <laughs> well 
done. Next, we would like to recognize the ROTC cadets who, in addition to earning degrees today, were commissioned as officers in the U.S. Army yesterday. Please stand to be recognized and remain standing as I call your name. Second Lieutenant DeAndre Brand. Second Lieutenant Wade Dassinger. Second Lieutenant Wendell Scott Johnson. Second Lieutenant Shelby Little. Second Lieutenant Roderick Tompkins. And Second Lieutenant Dunwall. Congratulations and thank you for your dedication to our country. Remain standing, please. Let's recognize all the veterans and military personnel graduating today. Would all graduates who have served or are serving in our nation's armed forces please stand? <laughs> Finally, will all the veterans and military personnel in the audience please stand as well? Thank you for your service to our country, and you may be seated. Graduates, we are here today to help you mark an important milestone. Having successfully completed the necessary requirements to earn your degrees, you are now entering the Fellowship of Scholars. Whether you are an undergraduate who is about to start your first job, or a graduate student advancing in established career, this is a time of great excitement and anticipation. It is also bittersweet as you must part ways with classmates, professors, and friends who have become family and say goodbye to a place that has become home. Just remember that no matter where life leads you or how many years pass by, you will always be part of the JSU family, and this campus will always be your home. During your time here, you have formed connections with people from all over the world and made lifelong friends. You have studied in your chosen field under the guidance of our talented faculty. You have strengthened your critical thinking skills, expanded your knowledge, and explored your creativity. When you cross this stage in a few moments, you will be counted among the small number of citizens who have graduated from college. While this is a tremendous accomplishment anywhere, I have always felt it is even more meaningful to Jacksonville State graduates. Many of you were the first in your families to attend college and have made great sacrifices to be here. You have put yourself through college, juggling classes, jobs, and family responsibilities. Along the way, you have not only earned a degree, but gained a work ethic unmatched by your peers. Perhaps this is why employers seek out our alumni. JSU graduates are known for their drive, determination, and compassion. They never forget where they came from they strive for success, and they defy expectations. As you start the next chapter of your lives, filling critical roles in your communities, continue to keep the spirit of the friendliest campus alive in your hearts by helping others along the way. Treat others with kindness, be a mentor to those coming up behind you, and remember to lift as you climb. These are the hallmarks of a JSU graduate. We can't wait to see all that you accomplish. Congratulations and thank you for choosing JSU. At this time, I would like to welcome JSU alumnus and Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Randy Jones, to, to the podium to introduce today's commencement speaker. Mr. Chair. Thank you. It's an honor to introduce today's speaker, a tireless advocate for victims' rights and one of television's most respected legal analysts, 
Miss Nancy Grace has been named one of the most impactful and powerful women in entertainment by both Variety and The Hollywood Reporter. Previously, she has been the force behind CNN's top headline news rated uh, Nancy Grace, Oxygen's Injustice with Nancy Grace, and A&E's limited series, Grace vs. Abrams. She currently hosts Crime Stories with Nancy Grace, which airs on Fox Nation and Sirius XM. She also headlines the hit syndicated television series, Bloodline Detectives, and is the founder and publisher of Crime Online. A former prosecutor with unparalleled record of success, Ms. Grace has appeared on The Oprah Renfrey Show, The View, Good Morning America, The Today Show, Dr. Oz, Dr. Phil, and Larry King Live, dispensing her firebrand take on modern justice. She was also a fan favorite on season 13 of Dancing with the Stars. Maybe she'll show us some moves here in a minute. Finishing the competition's coveted top five. But all her earnings from that show went to support the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. It was during her time as a special prosecutor for the Atlanta Fulton County District Attorney's Office that Ms. Grace became acquainted with future JSU distinguished scholar Joseph Scott Morgan. They worked together early in their careers when he was a forensics investigator in the same county. Now, they can often be found together on live television discussing the latest crime stories and grip that are gripping our nation at the time. Through this partnership, she has been a generous friend to JSU, something that we cannot thank her enough for. When Miss Grace is not writing best-selling novels or appearing on television and radio, she enjoys spending time with her husband, David, her twins and their rescue pets, a dog, a cat, and two guinea pigs. The family resides in Atlanta and New York. We know she is an extremely busy woman, and we are so, so thankful for her to join us today. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Miss Nancy Grace. happy to be here with you today looking at it all your bright and shining faces it's a nice switch from a darkened studio where I'm looking into the camera at a very angry lawyer on the other end much less this one right here Joe Scott looking out at you today and realizing what you have already achieved on this very day makes me realize and inspires me about what you can do. What now will you do? And in that vein, I'd like to speak to you about heroes, specifically about you being a hero. Everyone, everyone before me and behind me will meet with that day when you get the call to stand up and be counted to stand for something to go to the plate and don't just swing you must hit a home run that call may be as distant and far away as a back alley in Baghdad Iraq it could be the call to a tip line to save someone's life. Or it could be a call in your neighborhood, your community, your workplace, your own backyard. But believe you me, that call will come. My only question today is, will you answer the call? 
as many people have asked me, do you live in New York? Where are you from? I grew up on a red dirt road where there was nothing as far as the eye could see but soybean fields and tall pine trees. In a world where there was no crime, we were just as poor as everybody else. Didn't know any different. Didn't know what was at the end of that red dirt road. I went from those idyllic days where we would literally get called home in the evening by the bells in the United Methodist Church steeple playing God will take care of you, his eyes on the sparrow, rock of ages cleft for me. I graduated high school and went off to college. I fell in love and got engaged to a wonderful person. Shortly after that and just before our wedding, my fiance Keith was murdered. He was shot five times in his beautiful face, head, neck, and back. His world ended and my world exploded. I felt like the world had stopped and that I got off and looked back and was shocked to see, guess what, the world was still turning. And I wanted to say, stop, look at this thing that has happened. Can't you stop for one moment of silence? But no, the world did not stop. I did. I couldn't hear the TV. I couldn't hear the radio. No music allowed. My mother had to stop the clocks in the house because I could not stand the ticking that time was going on after this thing had happened. I dropped out of school. But when I returned to school, it was not to be a Shakespearean English professor. It was to go to law school and represent victims that have no voice in our system. I went from that day on to become, thank you, Lord, one of the first female special violent felony prosecutors in what was then one of the murder capitals of our country, inner city Atlanta. But it started off pretty mildly. My first jury trial, I couldn't imagine why the prosecutor in that courtroom just gave me the case and literally left town for vacation. It was a shoplifting. Easy, right? No. The man didn't steal anything. And I had to prosecute it. Okay, this is what happened. He went into Kmart. He cut a CD player off the display and stuck it down his crotch. Then he walked up and down the aisles of the Kmart trying to get a getaway. He rolled it up in a rug and then walked all the way to the front and chickened out and left it. Well, security guards chased him down in the parking lot, threw him down and dragged him in, and I had to prosecute it. That happened to be the one week in Fulton County history that the air condition broke in the courthouse. That was when women thought they had to dress like men. So I had a blue suit and a shirt up to here. With a, didn't have a tie. We had a fake rosette at the time. And my hair pulled back, and I gave it all I had. By the end of that trial, the windows were open, my jacket was off, my shirt was untucked, my hair was over here, and I had all that black makeup running down my face. And I begged them to convict this guy on attempted shoplifting. I mean, think about it. When you go to the grocery store to get a dozen eggs, do you stick them down your pants? I sure hope not. So my first conviction, I was off and running with an attempted shoplifting. Then I got a bank robbery, and it was a dyslexic bank robber. The note said, don't touch the LRAM, this is a Roby. Well, once I tracked him down and did a writing sample, he reversed letters in every word, got a conviction. But after that, my cases took a much more somber tone, and I got my first murder. I will never forget her. Her name was Mary. And what perplexed me the most about the case was her pocketbook. 
in it was bright pink lipstick, nail polish, no money, no driver's license, no ID, and a child's little plastic toy. When I finally found her family, I found her mother had given birth at age 14 and that Mary had the mind of a nine-year-old child. She's a beautiful young woman, and she was brutally attacked and murdered. It was a fight to the finish, let me tell you. My first murder conviction. There were so many times in such a parade of violent felonies, many times I felt I could not go on. I would have nightmares night after night of the people I was representing. And then one time, I was in the courtroom at 9 o'clock at night. I had just finished a very violent murder trial. And I knew the very next day, I had to strike another jury on another case. And it involved a dope dog. So I was in the courtroom that night, waiting on a dog to practice. He was supposed to find the cocaine in the courtroom the next day, and I didn't want him to jump up in the jury panel and eat somebody's hat. So I waited and was looking at the clock, 9 o'clock, and it dawned on me, why am I here? I'm exhausted. I'm worn out. It's heartbreaking. I should be married to Keith. We should be living in Colorado like we planned. I should have three children. We should have had dinner, and they should be having bedtime stories right now. This is not what I signed up for. This is not the life I thought I was going to have. I'm in the wrong place, the wrong time, and the wrong life. And I don't know what exactly, but some powerful presence got me through that night, and I kept going. But it brings to mind a friend of mine in New York City. She fought a devastating illness, breast cancer, and as part of her rehab, she took up running to the point where she was going to run a race. She started off small with a 5K, which is three miles. She got there early to Central Park and was surprised to find thousands of people already there. And she said, wow, I'm glad I got here. Well, the gun went off. So she started running. It wasn't until an hour and a half later she saw a sign that said the five-mile mark. She realized that was not the race she signed up for. <laughs> she had gotten there so early, she was in the 10-mile race. And I'm happy to report that she crossed the finish line. Her hands up in victory. It was not the race she signed up for, but by God, it was the race she was in. That night in the courtroom, as I told you, some powerful force kept me going, and I realized it was not at all what I had signed up for, but it was the race I was in, as are you today. But how? How do you persevere? Three things. One, remember you're not alone. Two, avoid all that deters you, including temptation, known and in disguise. And three, to thine own self be true. Have you ever seen Tiger Woods striding off on the 18th hole? He's always got on a red shirt. Well, after his father died, he was striding up the green all alone, the wind was whipping around him. And the sportscaster said, he's not alone. And they cut to one 18th hold after the next, after the next, after the next, where his father would run out and embrace him. You are not alone. Who do you think all those people are up in the stands? You think you got here uh, on your own? You did not. And your father in heaven is with you every day you are not in this by yourself and second do not let anything deter you the oldest man in the next county over he was asked at age 100 how did you make it so far and he thought a long time and he said the prunes and the whiskey well that's not what i thought he was going to say and then he said i eat the prunes i stay away from the whiskey 
The point is, I don't know what it may be. It may be a bad relationship, a bad friend, a bad habit, an addiction. I don't know what it is. But do not let anything, whether you recognize it or it's in disguise, deter you, pull you back, or worse, down. And last, you beautiful people, to thine own self be true. In other words, hey, I get a lot of heat from defense lawyers and even in the anchor chair. And it's nice to learn when you're doing something that you can improve on. But if you listen to your critics, people, you'll all be at home under the bed, hiding. No job, no task would be completed. No dream would ever come true. To thine own self be true. When you change yourself by the end of it, bit by bit, you've lost yourself. Don't listen to them. Listen to your heart. And to do that, you've got to listen to that voice in your head telling you what is right and wrong. That is your conscience. Milton once wrote in Paradise Lost, this, the thumb, and our decision to live in a society where we protect those less cunning, less powerful than others, sets us apart from the animals in the jungle. You are the closest thing to an angel, and it is designed that way. You graduating class, you have seen so much unlike any other you have seen our country attacked from within. You have seen our country torn and it has never been torn in recent history. Hatred, fires, violence, our own capital on its knees. You've also seen the pandemic. Unlike anything our country has ever endured, but also you have seen great acts of love and healing, and you have seen heroes rise amongst us. History will not judge you, graduates, by how much money you think you're going to make, what you have in your bank account or your resume, or who you got the best of in court. History will judge you by the fight you fought. What did you believe in? Who did you champion? What were you all about? Long after you're gone and you're just a memory, your fight will live on. Your knowledge, your compassion, your perseverance will be your resume. So when you get weary, graduates, and you're tired, and you're tired of working that second job and showing up every morning bright and early, you remember this. It may not be the race you signed up for, but by God, it is the race you are in. Now run, people. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grace, for your remarks. Uh, we are so proud of you, your accomplishments, and your commitment to the, making this world a safer place. It is now time for a special presentation. I'll ask the chairman of the board, uh, distinguished lecturer Joseph Scott Morgan, and the provost to please come forward with Ms. Grace. Earlier this year, the Board of Trustees adopted a resolution, and I will not read that resolution in its entirety, but we will be awarding the honorary doctorate to uh, Ms. Uh, Grace right now. So by the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama and by the Jacksonville State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the Doctor of Letter, Honor Acaza, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations, Dr. Nancy Grace. <laughs>
this time, I would like to acknowledge and welcome our faculty who are participating in today's commencement. Would the faculty please stand? The faculty have worked tirelessly and with compassion and creativity to ensure our students reach their goal of obtaining a college degree. They have supported, guided, redirected, and challenged the students as they sought to achieve their academic goals. Please join me in applauding the faculty and thanking them for their contributions to the educational accomplishments of today's class of graduates. Thank you, faculty. You may be seated. Today, we recognize a number of bachelor's degree recipients who are graduating with special honors and Latin honors. They are identified by the gold cords that they wear. Graduates, as I call for your group of honors designations to stand, please do so and remain standing until all honors graduates are standing. Students graduating from our honors programs are identified by the bronze medallions they wear. The designation Honors Scholar identifies those who hold the Honors Scholarship, the university's top academic scholarship, and are also active members of the university's honors program. These students must complete 30 hours or more of honors designated courses, 56 or more service hours, and maintain a grade point average of 3.25. Will those graduates with this distinction please stand and remain standing? The designation Honors Program graduate identifies those who are active members of the university's honors program and who complete 24 hours or more of honors designated courses, maintaining a grade point average of 3.25. Will those graduates with this distinction please stand and remain standing? Students graduating summa cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. Will those graduates please stand and remain standing? Students graduating cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Will those graduates please stand and remain standing? Students graduating cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Will those graduates please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Phi Kappa Phi is the nation's oldest national honor society for all academic disciplines. Phi Kappa Phi initiates only those students who have maintained an excellent academic record in all courses throughout their undergraduate or graduate careers. Will all Phi Kappa Phi members who are graduating this morning please stand and remain standing. Please join me in acknowledging this outstanding group of graduates. Well done, honors graduates. You may be seated. Now, the moment we've anticipated and the reason we are here, the conferral of degrees. Will the candidates for graduate degrees please rise? <laughs> President Killingsworth, I present to you the candidates for graduate degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama and by the Jacksonville State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the graduate degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Will all candidates for baccalaureate or undergraduate degrees please rise? 
President Killingsworth, I present to you the candidates for undergraduate degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Alabama and by the Jacksonville State University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the undergraduate degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left. <laughs> Welcome to the community of scholars. I proudly proclaim that you are now graduates and alumni of Jacksonville State University. Congratulations, graduates. Please be seated. It is now time to introduce our convocation bell ringers. Will Mr. Carson Crow and Ms. Jerrica Kirkland please come forward at this time? In fall of 2019, a freshman class member rang the bell at freshman convocation, symbolizing the beginning of the freshman journey to earning a bachelor's degree. The bell ringing at commencement symbolizes the student completing and earning the bachelor's degree. To commemorate today's graduation, Mr. Carson Crow and Ms. Jerrica Kirkland will now ring the bell. Thank you, Carson and Jerrica. Good morning. I am Dr. Channing Ford, Dean of Graduate Studies. Today I present those individuals completing their graduate degrees. With the completion of your degree, you have now earned the privilege of wearing a hood. The hood symbolizes not only your accomplishment and academic distinction, but your field of expertise. The color of the velvet trim is distinctive of your academic field, and the interior lining of red and white is worn to represent Jacksonville State University as your degree-granting institution. I present the recipients of these graduate degrees. These individuals have fulfilled the requirements of the Master of Arts, Masters of Business Administration, Master of Science, Master of Science in Education, Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Public Administration, and Master of Social Work degrees. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Master of Arts in English, Ashley Mary Himmler. Joseph Patrick McMullen. Master of Arts in History, Trent Morgan Moody. Colin Preston Wagner. <laughs> Master of Arts in Integrated Studies, Tabitha May Rayburn. Kim Turner. Master of Arts in Music with a concentration in Education Instrumental, Kefri Jeffrey, Kevin Jeffrey Jeter. <laughs> Ethan Samuel Owens.
Kylie Ann Yeomans. Alberta Martin Doggett. Presenting the diploma is Mr. Clarence Doggett III, Jacksonville State University Board of Trustee member. <laughs> Master of Business Administration in Business Administration with a concentration in accounting. Andrew Jose Mitchell. Maggie Lynn Walker. Master of Business Administration in Business Administration, Cassandra Battle. Hannah Ruth Brown. Brandon Scott Sharping. Ashton Elizabeth Coates. Timothy Drew Cooper. Adriana Fonseca. Warren Fultz. Stephen J. Lockridge. Brittany Sanders Norman. Patrick O'Neill. Araldo Paz. James Mitchell Rogers. Sawyer Scout Spears. Chioma Ugochukwu. Mackenzie Lynn Van Patten. Jameson Willis. Master of Business Administration in Business Administration with a concentration in Healthcare Administration. Mallory Kate Shears. <laughs> Master of Science and Manufacturing Systems Technology. Seth David Carnes. Educational Specialist in Instructional Leadership, Rashawn Omar Edwards, Sr. <laughs> Master of Science in Counselor Education with a concentration in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Kelsey Elizabeth Bird. <laughs> Megan Ann Altman Mohan. Catherine Brevard Wilbanks. <laughs> Master of Science in Counselor Education with a concentration in School Counseling. Michaela Grace Longshore.
Kaylin Elizabeth McClure. Master of Science in Education and Biology, Lauren Ashley Dukas. Daisy Michaela Franklin. Master of Science in Education and Business Marketing Education, Anna Graham Jones. Austin Drake Noeckers. Master of Science in Education and Early Childhood Education, Michaela Lapahuska. Shay Lynn Von Sprecken. Master of Science in Education and Elementary Education, Ashley Olivia Alexander. Heather Lynn Anglin. Ashlyn Marie Argo. Sydney Bailey. Megan Nicole Bartlett. Allie Rebecca Cantrell. Brittany Sarah Gaither. Amy Elizabeth Glenn. Hannah Sue Hilly. Bobby Ray Hopper, Jr. Brendan Blake Perry. Master of Science in Education in English Language Arts. Ashley Nicole Teams. Master of Science in Education and Family Consumer Science, Kayla Hartline. Laura Elizabeth Kilgo. Jordan Elizabeth Vernon. Tamika Lachey White Franklin. Master of Science in Education and Instructional Leadership, Demetrius Dion Jackson. Christina Lott. Crystal LaSable Wright. Master of Science in Education and Library Media, Mary Elizabeth Harper. Master of Science in Education and Social Studies, Alexandria Page Riggs. Master of Science in Education and Special Education, Collaborative Teacher, Lisa Faith Nichols. Lisa. 
Master of Science in Sport Management, John Watson Ashworth. Perry Carter, Jr. Joseph Stephen Eaglin. Your Majesty, Highness Sanders. Master of Science in Education, in Physical Education, with a concentration in Human Performance. Kennedy Benet Gavin. Master of Science in Education, in Physical Education, with a concentration in Nutrition. Amanda Marie Allen. Gemini Nicole Sigler. Master of Science in Education and Physical Education, Brandon Allen. Edward Pruitt III. Michael Evan Shaddix. Kirby Wilson Sherbet. Master of Science in Nursing with a concentration in Adult Gerontology, Acute Care Nurse Practitioner, Misty Whatley Armstrong. Savannah Renee Blackwood. Jessica Ann Chavez. Joshua Glenn Gooch. Ashley Sanderson Poe. Alexis Morgan Pope. Rachel Jones Tice. Master of Science in Nursing with a concentration in Family Nurse Practitioner. Haley Morgan Blackerby. Jeremy Clark. Laura Ann Craig. Lacey June Duro. Paris Carlita Foster. Adam Clayton Franz. Avery Caroline Fuller. Warren Stefan Hill. Emily Ann McCord. Pauline Hall Meadows. Aramade Okonuwu. Ugama Ozio. Brady Joe Parker. Angela Marie Pate. Abby Gail Petty. Liberty Marshall Powell. Adrian Robinson.
Jessica Marie Semyonova. Amanda Southwell. Leah Elizabeth Stevenson. Melissa Nicole Stokes Carroll. Emily Elizabeth Wilkie. Ashley Dawn Williams. Daily Annalise Weisner. Master of Science in Biology. Rebecca Andres Tomas. Master of Science in Computer Systems and Software Design, Anthony Howell. Karimuddin Mohammed. Saeed Aftab Ali Shah. Anish Joshwell. Vinaya Sai Yelavarti. <laughs> Master of Science in Geographic Information Science and Technology, Tyler Lee Hillier. Margaret Lane Walton. Master of Science in Mathematics, Christopher Ray Bowles. Master of Public Administration with a concentration in Administrative Management, Amber Nicole Law. Morgan Elizabeth Lurch. Quintez Lazente Pearson. Master of Public Administration with a concentration in political science. Garrett Allen Harrelson. Nicholas Love. Master of Science in Applied Behavior Analysis, Madison Joy Coleman. Lauren Hannah Olson. Emily Rebecca Terry. Master of Science in Criminal Justice, Amanda Arnold. DeAndrea Janae Dupree. Andre Tyrese Lawson. Samuel Andrew Payne. Michael Henry Justin Kortner. Master of Science in Emergency Management, 
Tyrone Lafayette Davis. Miguel Gilbert Garcia. Caden Alexander Gentry. Margaret Elizabeth Gray. Cal McKenzie Lanassa. Noah Coleman Maddox. Don Rochelle McCune. Samuel Kaysen Napier. Kendrietta Orr. Megan Taylor Sawyer. Master of Social Work, in Social Work, Jennifer Byers Benefield. Tara Lynn Brackett. Presley Marie Cox. Kinsley Gail Cummings. Alexis Danielle Deal. Kim Dotson. Samantha Jean Doherty. Allison Suzanne Early Foster. Emma Marie Fogarty. Demarcus Jermaine Fomby. <laughs> Melissa Frega. Giovanna Hernandez Martinez. Callie Marie Hicks. Mara Deanne Marlowe. Hannah Don Melvin. Alicia Lachey Pace. Ginny Pierre. Brooke Pollard. Gladys Mahali Tamar Richardshagen and Quincy. Madeline Alexis Wevington. Sarah Lee Weaver. Jennifer Lee West. Quinn West. Jasmine Olivia Whiteside. Oh, 
the College of Arts and Humanities. Good morning, I'm Tim Limblom, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. I present the recipients of undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Emma Caroline Barber. Tucker Glenn Barnett. Jada Amanda Batiste. Peyton Beckwith. Chandler Ryan Bentley. Braxton Travis Bashirs. Andrew Parker Brown. Brooks Wheeler Bryan. Kirsten Jade Bryant. Anaya Shanice Burr. Jason Carpio. Taylor Brooke Carroll. Kendall Cheyenne Carter. Cassie Leanne Case. Samuel Joseph Dean Cermak. Logan Chance. Casey Leanne Childers. <laughs> Jessica Noel Collier. <laughs> Chloe Grace Collins. <laughs> Daisy Faith Dunaway. Nicholas Bryant Dunn. Matthew Benjamin Ellis. Sophia Marie Ferguson. Elizabeth Freeman. Mabra Elizabeth Gaspar Miguel. Amber Anissa Gibson. Dahlia Gibson. Diego Alejandro Guinness. Noah Krim Gibson. David Gladden. Kristen Michaela Goodman. Caleb Jordan Graham. Miles Wayne Gurley. Timothy Ramsey Haggerty. Yeah. 
the Lete Ramon Hill Jr. Brandon Richard Hardegree. Deontarius Lataj Harmon. Katrina Harris. Abigail Leanne Harrison. Ryan Patrick Hayes. Lauren Elizabeth Haygood. Luke Everett Heyman. Samuel Hemrick. Mary Grace Hindley. James William Hyatt. Trent Thomas Hugerworth. Joseph Alexander Hudson. Christian Uriah Hutchinson. Aaron Jeffrey Hyatt. Kyler Ashton James. Julicia Renee Johnson. Craig Allen Kinsey. Jonah Stephen Lancaster. Matthew DeCameron Lewis. Daniel Robert Lobertich. Cal Thomas Mason. Jenna Rebecca Mays. Jordan Milam. Haley Kathleen Miller. Mia Moltain. Alyssa Nicole Morris. Ryan Ellis Mulkey. Amanze Ingumezi. Harrison Lee Parker. Leslie Elizabeth Pierce. Kelsey Lynn Purdue. Amanda Hope Pinkard. Kane Pitts. Namath Garrett Pitts.
Brandon Alexander Prophet. Alexandria Lee Quintero. Courtney Diane Ray. Garrett Rinder. Haley Jade Ritter. Madison Hunter Rudy. Maisha Quanteria Scales. Macklin Shea. Sarah Page Sides. Hannah Elizabeth Stiglitz. Andrew Strickland. Devin Scott Talaferro. Harley Isaiah Thomas. Nakaya Thompson. Austin Turner. Carson James Walker. Christopher Markel Williams. Holly Lynn Williams. Kelsey Elizabeth Williams. Madison Jane Wisner. Sarah Yarbrough. Marina Janelle Louise Young. The College of Business and Industry. Industry. I present the recipients for undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science degrees, and the College of Business and Industry. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Ashlyn Chad Adams. Sarah Kate Atkinson. Sophia Ngoza Onjemba. Carly Lynn Allen. Thomas Boyd Ashworth. Dylan Bailey. Kenneth Allen Bargerhoff. Spencer Elijah Bernard. Leonardo Barrientos. Cassidy Faith Bearden. Haley Nicole Benefield. Mason Alexander Blackwell. Yeah. 
Matthew Isaac Blair. Jamarius Quamel Borden. Kayla Boswell. Second Lieutenant DeAndre Brand. Adam Glenn Brown. Carson Buckner. Gavin Wayne Burridge. Corinne Nicole Cato. Carson Coy Callender. Hayden Brock Carter. Andrew Michael Challender. Shun Chen. Matthew James Clay. Colton Blake Colley. Emma Scott Connell. Carson Gray Crow. Molly Elizabeth Deese. Robert Francisco Dominguez. Austin Tyler Downey. Aaron Jesse Evans. Your Flores Arroyo. Emily G. Ford. Rod Anthony Freeman, Sr. Samantha Renee Gardner. Kinsley Nicole Golden. Noah Grady. Michaela Leanne Gray. Joseph Tavner Green. Shadrion Lenise Griffin. Kevin Michael Grubbs. Benjamin Clark Hall. Miles Alexander Hembry. Thomas Andrew Hembry. Adriana Maldonado Hernandez. Haley Hicks. Jennifer Ann Holder. Madison Nicole Holland. Madison Lee Holiday.
Harrell and Holloman. William Allen Hughes. Eric Jacob Hurlbut. Mia Reagan Jackman. Lila Francis Johnson. Second Lieutenant, Wendell Scott Johnson. James Michael Jordy. Chi Chong Kong. Elizabeth Ashley Cannon. Adarius Tariq King. Braden Kirk. Marina Elizabeth Legacy. Latori Sherelle Lauderdale. Madison Brooke Leonard. Haley Elizabeth Lindley. Reed Garrett Maddox. Isaiah Sebastian Magwood. Ethan Scott Marshman. Gisela Martinez. Julie McDaniel. Victoria Noel McCraney. Donovan Deshaun Miller. John David Alton Morgan. Michael Amante Morris. Alyssa Nicole Murray. Morgan Ashley Nugent. Oren Preston Odom. Jahir Ortiz Rodriguez. Alexander Jerry Owen. Sarah Elizabeth Packard. Jose Patino Rubio. <laughs> Lucas Allen Pennington. Kendall Lee Perry. Josiah Alexander Petro. Christopher Mathis Ray. Hayden William Ray. Clancy Cheyenne Rice. Eric Lynn Roberts.
Rylan Dane Russell. Dallas and Sainsbury. Julia Araceli Salicedo. Mabry Claire Scoggins. Garrett Forrester Skelton. Lucas Smith. Lauren Michelle Spivey. Pacey Bryant Strickland. Ethan Warren Teague. William Reese Thompson. Lauren Elizabeth Townsend. Ivan Velasquez. Salomo Yoseline Velez. Phoebe Mae Wallace. Nicholas Walls. Emily Ray Ware. Angela Marie Wesley. Bailey Molina West. Alexandra Elizabeth White. Michael Cade White. Cheyenne Wolf. Ethan Allen Wright. Zachary Allen Zahn. The College of Education and Professional Studies. Gators White, Dean of the College of Education and Professional Studies. I present the recipients of undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Education degrees and the College of Education and Professional Studies. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Emily Madison Allen. Jessica Andres. Luisa Argote. Emma Kristen Bagby. Savannah Marie Bernard. Bonet LaShawn Bars. Skylar Bartlett. Kylie Marie Barrett. Malachi James Beverly. Cassie Alexandra Black.
Alicia Nicole Blair. Avery Lee Bobbitt. Michaela Pilar Bonner. Gabrielle Elizabeth Bossy. Taylor Page Bradford. Chloe Elizabeth Brasher. Courtney Sloan Brown. Keisha Brown. Michaela Nicole Brown. Tucker Whit Bryson. David Levi Burt. Madison Jania Burwell. Hunter Isaac Bussey. Rachel Meredith Butler. Christian Luke Cassidy. Nissy Hope Klingen. Evan Noah Cooper. Hannah Elise Cornett. Elizabeth Ashley Cummings. Jolie Suzanne Cup. Faith Carrington Davis. Caitlin Teague Decker. Zakia Krayshawn Doremus. Cheyenne Lynn Dobbs. Elijah Jean Donner. Jordan Malik Douglas. Casey Melindy and Dukas. Reed O'Neill Eastus. JC Young Clanton. Kayla McKenzie Ennis. Kirsten Alexis Gardner. Michaela Von Garman. Nicholas Lee Gregory. Aileen Guzman. Lauren Sidney Hall. Emily Page Hancock. Marley Alexis Hanks. Amber Leanne Haynes.
Mackenzie Leah Hill. Jalen Michael Hines. Lily Virginia Holderfield. Emma Grace Hood. Taylor Elizabeth Houston. Christina Michaela Holsey. Brandy Hunt. Logan Brook Irwin. Rachel Aaron Jacobs. Mallory Elizabeth Jenkins. Myasia Renisha Johnson. Courtney Page Kimbrough. Hannah Elise Lawson. Micah John Lett. Caitlin Brianne Lindley. Jacob Lipham. Tegan Murray Love. Hannah Danielle Lovett. James Elliott Lovard. Abigail Faith Liner. Chastity Maribel. Sadie Leanne Martin. Gaspar Juan Martinez. Madison Taylor McAllister. Megan Gailey McWright. Jessica Herrera Mello. Christian Bailey Minkler. Brenton Malik Minor. Matthew Raleigh Morrison. Bethany Thomas Mullinax. Andrea Marie Neff. Jade Marie Oliver. Ricky Andrew Parker. Sylvia Alina Paz. Kenya Lachey Perkins Hibbler. Maggie Marie Phillips. Aubrey Grace Pierce. Justin Ryan Price. Bria Janaya Printup. Michaela Janae Pugh.
Emily Jane Poland. Sarah Ann Quinn. Sydney Lauren Ransom. Ashley Del Rotten. Samantha K. Reach. Darla Faith Rhodes. Alexis Nicole Rice. Elena Ann Rickson. Laura Ellen Rigdon. John Kate Robertson. Amy Hulese Rosales Monreal. <laughs> Hannah Rutledge. Jesse Michelle Sandlin. Shakira Patrice Scott. Sydney Diane Sexton. Cassie Faith Smith. Jasmine Akira Smith. Caitlin Elizabeth Stansel. Brittany Stevens. Terry Stevens. Dawson Wade Streety. Madison Shea Strickland. Carrie Ann Thomas. Elijah Seth Thomas. Brindley Elise Thompson. Micah Devora Thompson. Hannah Beth Thrasher. Billy Stephen Turner. Ansley Elise Wallace. Hallie Ray Waters. Sierra Lee Welch. Haley Elizabeth West. Jarrett Martin Wilkinson. Crystal Boyenton Williams. Alana Raven Williard. Lily Marie Wills. Rebecca Madison Wolf. Maddie Elizabeth Womack. William Aaron Wright. Garrett Jerome Young. The College of Health Professions and Wellness. Good afternoon.
afternoon. I'm Tracy Matthews, Dean of the College of Health, Professions, and Wellness. I present the recipients of undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelors of Science, Bachelors of Science in Education, Bachelors of Science in Nursing, Bachelors of Science in Respiratory Therapy, and in the College of Health, Professions, and Wellness. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Congratulations. Jordan Riley Albright. Presley Allen. Morgan Kyra Ashley. Tasca Sheree Beeson. Mackenzie Faith Blevins. Olivia Grace Bolton. Alexis Brianna Bonaparte. Abby Grace Breland. Courtney Bristow. Kayla Brooks. Alexandra Grace Brown. Jacob Michael Brown. Mitchell Elijah Bryant. Courtney Marissa Buck. Joshua Berger. Kinsley Blake Burgett. Sadie Catherine Burns. Tyler Blake Bush. Caitlin Marie Canada. Emily Brooke Cangiolosi. Aaron Marie Carmichael. Madeline Champion. Megan Riley Chastain. Megan Denise Colson. Brianna Marie Colquitt. Nicole Elizabeth Covington. Taylor Deck. Macy Yvonne Dobson. Haley Joe Doherty. Lucas Downey. Eva Grace Earwood. Nicole Joyce Ellis. Julice Wadrell Epps. Macy Elizabeth Eubank. Jordan Ashley Evans.
Khalil Eric Francis. Callista Brayanne Free. Colby Fuquay. Cecilia Leanne Garner. August Delane Gilliland. Catherine Brittany Godfrey. Edith Gomez. Marisha Good. Alyssa Kate Gore. Fisher Drake Goza. Emily Grace Grantham. Jacqueline Marie Gross. Allison Ray Gwynn. Brooke Leslie Guyton. Joseph Alexander Harrison. Madison Haynes Henry. Cameron McKenna Herman. Nautica Tylee Hervey. Balin Hicks. Henley Ryan Higgins. Scott Phillip Hill. Dominic Norwood Hodges. Samantha Ashley Howard. Grace Elizabeth Hudson. Kyra Janae Curry Huggins. Dylan Glenn Holsey. Taylor Faith Isbell. William Braxton Jacobs. Juliet Iceland, James Bennett. Benjamin Ross Johnson. Dawson Ray Johnson. Demetria Nakia Johnson. Kate Lee Johnson. Brianna Johnson Cotton. Haley Christine Jones.
Willie Edward Jones Jr. Keandre Wanye Kelly. Callie Alexis Kilgrow. Jerrica Tonique Monet Kirkland. Kelsey Denise Leith. Caitlin Elizabeth Logan. Lily Taylor Long. Valeria Lynn LaRusso. Camden Michael Loveridge. Jackson Wayne Luttrell. Lacey Brooke Masters. Sarah Ashley Matthews. Kitara Danielle McCants. Elizabeth Dean McDonald. Shania Morgan McKenzie. Logan Miller. Trent Gordon Mobley. Ty Christian Mobley. Ashley Renee Moon. Jakiah Mosley. Anna Caroline Moy. Julia Ann Newton. Jocelyn Elizabeth Nunez Castro. Mackenzie Renee Owens. Leighton Sparks Parker. Janelle Jayesh Bai Patel. Jackson Stone Patterson. Libby Leanne Patterson. Christina Nicole Phillips. Lexi Pruitt. Jackson Pugh. Paolo Rafael Kizan. Angel Marie Reeves. Ivy Reed Reyes. Ashlyn Nicole Reynolds. Luis Diego Rodriguez Torres. Peyton McGinnis Rogers.
Allie Elise Rutledge. Taylor Elise Selby. Elizabeth Connor Shepard. Jacob Andrew Scala. Sarah Addison Smith. Shelby Lynn Smith. Cameron Alyssa Spears. Isabel Porter Spray. Sydney Russell Stanley. Jace Alexander Stewart. Ramsey Nolan Tate. Remington Cheyenne Wade. Carlidra Nicole Walker. Kayla Alexis Watson. Lauren Watson. Gabrielle Lynn Webb. Elizabeth Grace Wetmore. Anna Grace Witt. Cameron Dominique Williams. Courtney Shea Williams. Katura Janice Williams. Noah Ryan Williams. Nikea Brianna Williams. Kevin Robert Williamson. Christian Winkles. Sarah Ashley Wood. Annalise Marie Wright. Kaya Wright. Ansley Hope Wynn. Joe Zing. The College of Science and Mathematics. Hi, I'm Tim Limblom, Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics. I present the recipients of undergraduate degrees who have fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Science and the Bachelor of Arts degrees in the College of Science and Mathematics. Graduates, please come to the stage to be recognized. Austin Chase Adderhold. Kyle Isaiah Ard. Jessica Aguilar. Peyton Wayne Askew. Reese Baker.
Victoria Hagen Barkley. Brantley Bonds. Madison Cherie Brooks. Brianne Buford. Sophia Patricia Castillo. Taylor Nicole Chandler. Cody Compton. Leandra Custodio. Laura Deese. Aaron Elizabeth Dempsey. William Eric Drake. Jaden Shamar Duncan. Tiana Michelle Dupree. Trinity Janae Elston. Demaya Ladeja Garrett. Shemario Juanice Garrett. Samuel DeQuavion Goldthreet. Cody Brock Gross. Laura Pauline Hall. Dakota Lee Hethcock. Matthew Dean Henderson. Graham Nathaniel Hester. Amelia Higdon. Clay Strickland Houston. Caitlin Johnson. Jordan Alexander Johnson. Madison Alyssa Jones. Nathan Lee Jones. Winnie Quimmy. Kabita Kunwar. Daniel Lester. Stephen Dean Littlefield. Taylor Mabry. Zaria McDonald. Kellyanne Michael McMaster. Haley McNutt.
Gracie Ann Miller. John Riley, Allen Miller. Colby Lee, Austin Mincy. Adam Michael Parker. Alexis Madison Petty. Maddie Lane Prickett. Andrew Garrison Pruitt. Laura Danielle Robinson. Ayanna Rollins. Austin Sanderson. Christian Chase Sears. Megan Michelle Sims. Paul David Stone. Miranda Janae Thomas. Taylor Janae Thomas. Bailey Nicole Thompson. Autumn Thrower Davis. Sevilla Elise Williams. Kaylee Brooke Yarbrough. The College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. I'm Dean Buttram, Department Head of Criminal Justice and Forensic Investigation, representing the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. I present the recipients of undergraduate degrees, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Social Work. Graduates, please come up on the stage to be recognized. Barry Paul Adams. Tyler Andrew Adams. Victoria Sharon Anderson. Paige Elizabeth Appel. Cynthia Ann Peter Bogosi. Melissa Renee Bass. <laughs> Hope Bachelor. Jackson Bradley Bennett. Michelle Alexandra Borjas. Holly Christine Boutwell. <laughs> Jessica Evelyn Brown. <laughs> Jalen Ashley Burton. <laughs> Stephen Allen Butterworth. Jasmine Cheyenne Chappelle. Mary Isabel Chasse.
Logan Shane Planton. Najee Rashad Clay. Bria Marie Clendenning. Trevor Dion Cor. Allison Stevie Collins. Caitlin Christine Collins. Kiana Collins. Trevor Crowdis. Isabel Grace Dooley. Brianna Jordan Eads. Di Taylor Edmondson. Caitlin Elise Victoria Edwards. Ariana Fancher. Amy Leanne Garmany. Dale Lane Golding. Cameron Michelle Glasscox. Bethany Glazer. Zoe Raleigh Gonzalez. Justin Andrew Grizzard. Amber Lachey Hardnett. Kyra Michelle Harlan. Kendall Grace Hayes. Ashley Hodge. Amaya Patrice Hughes. Logan Humphreys. Sophie Hutchinson. Melissa Marilu Jimenez. Kayla Marie Jones. Westland Rashad Kelly. Amaya Tane Kinnan. Katana Masai Klein. Kaylee Ann Knight. Preston Michael Kosciuszko. Michaelia Kalise Lauderdale. Second Lieutenant Shelby Ray Little. Arcadia Christy Perry Lopez. Elizabeth Lopez. Hannah Ashton Lowry. Amari Monet Martin. Allison McCleskey.
Kayla Ann Melton. Alexis Nicole Minyard. Catherine Ann Montgomery. Michael Antonio Morer. Aries Newell. Anna Grace Padgett. Alexis Parker. Donna Diane Karen Perez. Alexis Nicole Pettis. Jada Phillips. Cameron Mathis Pinson. Aaliyah Rosalyn Reed. Rachel Taylor Reed. Cassidy Ruth Riddle. Savannah Rogers. Tayana Shabria Saunders. Stanley Lamar Shack. Timberly Marie Skidmore. Haley Leanne Smith. Carter Guy Sparks. Trent William Staggs Lockery. Holly Adara Taylor. Second Lieutenant Roderick Cole Tompkins. Chloe Rachel Tidwell. Rolando Omar Torres. Kelsey Michelle Tucker. Said Lolly Valentine Saavedra. Rachel Morgan Veal. Antoine Perry Walker. Ava Sean Wallace. Jessica Elaine Ward. Daniel Jamar Washington. Tiana Volkert Watkins. Cameron Elise Weeks. Wesley Whitmire. Vinaya Chardrian Witt. Trevor Gavin Witten. Terry J. Wiggins Jr.
Bonnie Blue, Lee Williams. Grayson Cole Wilson. Nathaniel Wright. Ramsey Dino Weich. Jordan Patrick Yancey. Congratulations to all of our graduates and best wishes for a successful career and a happy life. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Casey Ogle, Director of Alumni Relations, to welcome our newest graduates to the Alumni Association. Ms. Ogle. On behalf of the JSU National Alumni Association, I want to welcome you to our alumni family, a network of over 75,000 graduates across the globe. What I need you to know is that your relationship with JSU does not end today. We want and we need you to stay involved. Take advantage of the networking opportunities that the Alumni Association provides. Attend an alumni event. Get to know other Gamecocks in your area. We're gonna ask you to give back in whatever capacity you can, whether it be helping us recruit future students, mentoring current students, or supporting a scholarship when you can. We are so proud of you and we cannot wait to see what your future holds. And now it's time to take your strengths and take your passion and go make our world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. And remember, we are forever Gamecocks. Would everyone please stand for the benediction by Reverend Steve West and remain standing for the recessional. Now that the applause is quieted and the speech is concluded, may your voices be the ones that rise up. May you find a profound sense of purpose in your vocation. May you spread kindness and generosity and virtue wherever you go. May you set the world on fire. And above all things, may you be the you that you were created to be. Amen and amen. This concludes our spring 2023 commencement ceremony. It is now time for the recessional. Please remain in your seats until the recessional is completed. Afterward, family and friends are encouraged to meet the graduates outside of the stadium. Thank you for coming. <laughs>